Just last week they put a clip in little homie's back That's why I told you never lounge where the pole be at There's beef on the block, believe it or not Up north could be... Who is this? Hello? Turn on speaker Hello? Hey Pesci Yo, what's up man, who is this? It's Steven Steven? Who's Steven who? Stephen Hawking, motherfucker. <laughs> who else you know named Stephen with the fucking robot's voice? <laughs> of course, man. Hawking. Hawk, how you been, man? What's going on, man? What you saying? How are you? I'm doing all right, man. You know, I'm working on this mischief battle, you know? They got me doing this battle shit right now, you know? I'm going to get back to music real soon. How you been, man? Not bad. I saw the psycho battle. Sick. Love the umbrella. Of course. Good looks I'm using my penguin strategy. You a genius, man. People don't realize that's the thing. Not only are you a genius when it comes to double meaning lines and shit like that, you'd be ghostwriting for all sorts of battlers, but like also the prop ideas and the angles that you come in with, you're like the you're like the Vince McMahon in this joint, man. I know, I know. So I don't know, man, what you think about the psycho battle? Give me the breakdown. Analysis. I still think he bodied you in three all <laughs> jokes aside. He did alright though. He's a good kid. He's a good kid, man. He did alright. That's what I'm saying, but uh why the fuck did you roll over that six-year-old girl's fucking toes at Canada's Wonderland when you came up to KOTD? You were so drunk you couldn't even do anything. You stayed in your hotel room after, man. And she was just a kid. Why'd you do that? You told me not to drink the whole bottle. Yeah, you left me one sip, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking smartass. Them bars that you gave me for Caliente weren't so hot. Remember what happened that time? Oh, same thing almost happened with a fucking psycho this time. The bars you were expensive, you prick. You're the one who fucked them up. Where would you be if I hadn't written that Inspector Dak balcony consultant joint? Step your life game up. Tell Ozid to stop saying he came up with that. My shit. Yo, man, dead that because you know what? You know Osa came up with that, and don't be taking credit for that shit, you know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah, and you're on the cover of GQ. <laughs> Just breaking balls. Of course. <laughs> of course you are, man. But uh, on the real, man, why'd you call me? <laughs> I wrote some bars after seeing this ship's battles. Oh. They're pretty expensive. You can use any of the bars you want. But if I ever battle you, I will say that was me. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. You know, I'm always down to use the bars that you... You always give me some expensive bars. So shoot, man. Show me what you got. Listen... I said, listen. Okay. Okay. If I'm the penguin, you must be Batman. Work in with the beast. Anything illegal, he's reporting to police. Trying to call the station, but they ignore the little geek. Okay. Then he storms in like, why didn't you pick up the red phone, Commissioner Gordon? It was me. <laughs> that shit's hot, man. <coughs> I'm feeling that. <coughs> How about... You look like Michael Jackson stuck in between his transformation. <laughs> fair, ah. fair enough. <laughs> but yo, for real though, what's up, man? About to be out and shit, man. Peace, my dude. Hold it down. Say what's up to Mischief's mom for me. <laughs> of course, man. Be all up in the orange, you know? One. One on me. 